Professor Tanya Smith studies teeth. Very old teeth. Well, I've worked on fossils that are close to four million years old, and I've worked on prehistoric remains of people from the region that are just a few thousand years old. Teeth are incredibly resilient, serving as almost like a black box for our bodies. Well, there's these tiny timelines inside teeth that record every single day of our childhood, and those lines are formed even before we're born, and they continue through our whole adolescence. Professor Smith is a human evolutionary biologist. She collaborates with archaeologists, geochemists, and earth scientists to create the broadest possible story about an individual's life. Understanding prehistory is a really collaborative field in general, but it draws upon so many different techniques and technologies that no single person can master them. We met Professor Smith while she was working with a team at the Australian National University to analyse the environmental signals preserved in the enamel of teeth. What we have in this laboratory is three sensitive high-resolution iron microprobes, and that's a bit of a mouthful, so we call them shrimps, which is a bit of an Australian joke because they're the biggest that has ever been built. It turns out it takes very big things to properly see very small things. But the result will help shed light on historic climates and living conditions throughout the Asia-Pacific. We can compare a person who lived in Vietnam 7,000 years ago to a person who lived in Indonesia 2,000 years ago to a, a modern human child from New Zealand who just lived in the last decade. And that's the beauty of regional collaboration. We have collaborators from Australia, from New Zealand, from Thailand, from the US and from Japan. It's a global collaboration that advances things because no one country can host you know, all the best experts in any one field, much less all fields. So it's been such a pleasure to have you know, the momentum and the initiative to really invite partners in different countries uh, and to leverage those tools and technologies that no one country possesses. Mm -hmm.